the utilization of jackfruit by product and bioplastic. Plastic pollution has become one of the most pressing environmental issues. As rapidly increasing production of disposable plastic products overwhelms the world's ability to deal with them, nearly 700 species, including the endangered ones, are known to have been affected by plastics. With the rise of plastic pollution in the Philippines, the researchers decided to create artoplastic. The utilization of jackfruit by product and bioplastic. How did the researchers make the arto plastic? The materials needed vinegar, glycerol, water, salvo starch, jackfruit, spatula, pan, a heat source. To extract the sour, coat the blade of the knife with coconut oil and cut the pen itself first, then collect the byproduct of the jackfruit manually. Making the bioplastic, prepare a Researchers started to measure the amount of cassava starch and jackfruit by product that will be put into the mixture. The glycerol, vinegar, and water. Mix the ingredients. Then turn it in low to medium heat. Spread it out on the prepared flat surface as thin or thick as desired. Then let it dry. Once dry, the researchers conducted a series of tests such as test the texture and the flexibility of the product. Total length it can expand when stretched without ripping. Crumpling. Ability to resist tearing in three different levels. Weight that the bioplastic can withstand while attached on a crane scale. The maximum temperature it can withstand. Solubility in different salt water mixtures. The amount of time needed for the bioplastic to totally decompose in a natural Here are the summary of the test results. So you can see the arc of plastic is being compared to the 1 tablespoon amount of cassava starch, which is the normal amount of the cassava starch. This plastic demonstrated its biodegradability, which means that the utilization of jackfruit byproduct makes an effective bioplastic. Thank you.